In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to make a player health system that allows you to take variable damage when you hit an enemy and keeps track of your health until eventually you are actually destroyed. Let's get started. All right, so to get started, you're gonna need a couple of things in your scene. First off, you're gonna need some sort of a player character who's gonna need a movement script in order to move around your scene, a collider so that we can actually make collisions with the enemy, and if you wanna have real world physics, you'll need a rigid body. You'll notice I also have an animator, but that is not necessary in order to run what we're gonna be doing in this tutorial. Secondly, you're gonna need some sort of an enemy character in your scene who is also going to need to have a capsule collider. At this point, you are all set to create your first script, and we're gonna call this one player health. Now, once you get into your player health script, you're gonna come below the class here, and we're just gonna declare a couple of variables to get started. First one is going to be a public integer that we'll call health, which will keep track of your health in the game. And finally, a public integer called max health. And for now, let's set that one to 10. Now, essentially what we wanna do is as soon as the game starts off, we wanna make sure that your health is actually set to be equal to the max health, meaning you're at full health when the game starts. You can now head below your update function. In fact, for the time being, we could even delete this if we wanted. And we're gonna create a new public void function here. We're going to call this one take damage. And this is essentially going to be where we keep track of all the damage that our player takes in the game. Now in the brackets after damage, we're going to type in integer amount. And what this is just going to do is make sure that anytime another script talks to this one and calls this function, it can send in however much damage it wants to deal to our player so that we can make it different amounts depending on um, what is causing the damage. Now down below here, we're simply going to take health which is our player health, we're going to subtract the amount that gets passed in from whatever other thing is doing the damage. Next, we're just gonna do a quick if statement, and this is just gonna to check to see if our health has run out. So if our health is less than or equal to zero, we simply want to destroy the game object of our player. All right, so in Unity, we're just gonna add the player health script onto our player. And when we open that up, you'll notice our lines here, we've got our max health, which can be changed at any time, as well as our current health, which will be set to our max health as soon as the game starts up. Next up, we need to create some damage dealing. So I'm gonna create a new script, and I'm gonna call this one enemy damage. Now essentially what we wanna do here is we're gonna come down below the start and update functions, and we're gonna create an on collision enter 2D function. Now, the beauty of this function is that it sets things up so that any time, and we'll put this on our enemy, so any time our enemy collides with something, it will run this function. First of all, we wanna to check to see if the collision, so the thing it collided with, has a game object attached to it, which is tagged as player. Now, that was a lot of if, if, ifs. Let's take a quick look in Unity to see what that looks like. So essentially now, anytime this enemy collides with anything at all, it is gonna check in the hierarchy. It will find the game object of the thing that it just collided with. So if that is the player, it will check the player. Then it's gonna look up into the inspector to see if there's a tag called player. If there isn't, then the enemy will not deal damage. But if it happens to hit a player, then it will deal damage. Now, yours won't automatically do this. Um, you may have already created a player tag, but if not, you just need to click add tag, hit the plus button, type in player. And at this point now, when you go back to your player, you'll be able to select that he's a player. Now, when the enemy collides with the player, essentially what we wanna do is we want to call up our player health script. And inside of that, we wanna to go to that take damage function we just created, and we wanna deal damage. For now, let's say our damage is one. Now you'll notice that our script is not having that at the moment, and that's actually totally normal because right now this script has no reference for player health. It doesn't know where to find it or what it even is. So we're gonna head up top under our class and we're gonna declare that. So we're gonna create a public player health. And essentially here, we're just entering in the exact name of the script that we want to access. And then we need to give it a name that this script is gonna use to refer to it. To keep things simple, I always use the same name, but just with a lowercase letter at the start. So now anytime I use the term player health with a lowercase p in this script, it will know that I'm actually telling it to go and take a look in our player health script. So I'll now make this one agree with that. 
So now this script knows to look inside our player health to find the take damage function we created, and it's going to pass the number one into that function. So now in player health, a one will be passed in here. So health will subtract by one. One other little optimization thing that we can do in our enemy damage script is we want to make this script so that it will work with any enemy at all and not just with our um, skeleton in this case. And other enemies might deal different amounts of damage. So I'm going to create a new variable here. We're going to call this one a public integer called damage. And this will keep track of how much damage the enemy actually deals. For now, let's actually set that to 2. Now I can come down here, instead of having the player take one damage all the time, we can just have the player take damage, which will be whatever we decide to set for the script. At the moment, it would be two. We'll head back into Unity. Now we're going to take this script and add it onto our enemy. And you'll notice here that we've got that line damage, and it says two. But if we wanted to put this on a different enemy, we could change that number right here in Unity so that we can use the same script on all enemies. Now this is also wondering where our player health script is. So while we've told it that it needs a player health script, it doesn't yet know where to find it. Because our player health script is on the player, we're going to drag our player and drop him into that box. Now the enemy damage script is able to talk to our player script. Now when I run the game, you'll notice my health has been set equal to my max health. You also notice that when I collide with the enemy, hit him twice there, my health is dropping by two each time. And if I wanted to go into my enemy and change the damage so that he only deals one, I could then head back over here. And now when I bump into him, you'll notice, oh, hit him twice that time, that my health is dropping by one each time. And my player gets destroyed at the end. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have, please be sure to click the like button or to subscribe to the channel.